Hey everyone, uh, it's Caroline from V Technologies. Glad to see that you were able to join us for our little lunch and learn today. Um, we're really excited to have um, a couple of um, Intuit's very own employees joining us today. Um, PC and Joe will be uh, reviewing um, QuickBooks Enterprise and um, Intuit Payments. Um, and together, if my math is calculating correctly, I have about 38 years of experience between those two. So um, if you guys uh, have questions, um, definitely would now would be a great time to ask these two gentlemen um, anything that you need to know about into it. Um, but before we start, I wanted to just go through some housekeeping. Um, so everybody's muted right now. Uh, if you have questions throughout the presentation, you can feel free to enter those into the questions pane on your control panel um, of your GoTo webinar pane that you'll see. So if you just enter those there, we'll try to um, actually ask those at the end as well as you know get to those during the webinar if we can. Uh, and then you'll definitely want to stay till the end. Uh, because obviously we do have the Q&A with Joe and PC, um, but also uh, Simon's going to be raffling off um, some Grubhub gift cards so that um, you can have lunch tomorrow on us. Uh, so we appreciate you taking some time out of your afternoon, and I'll pass it over to uh, Simon to get started. All right. Well, thank you, Caroline, and good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Simon. I'm the Director of Sales here at V Technologies. Um, I'm going to um, introduce PC here in a moment, but I just want to go through a quick agenda of kind of what we're going to be discussing today. As Caroline mentioned, we have um, PC Younger on from Intuit. He's going to be going through the uh, QuickBooks Enterprise platform. So for those of you who are on that are using uh, either another version of QuickBooks, either Pro, Premier, Online, um, he'll go through some main features of Enterprise and also kind of touch on some new features of Enterprise 21 uh, that just recently come out. Uh, and then we'll turn it over to Joe from the Intuit Payments side. For those of you who might be using Intuit Payments or maybe not, maybe learn a little something about what Intuit Payments can do for you during this holiday season um, and how we can help you save some money there. And then I'll kind of wrap up at the end here kind of with a quick demo of Starship um, and talk about some savings opportunities you can see. Uh, by taking advantage of post office uh, and the, the uh, main features of why during this time of um, year uh, post office is relevant. So again, uh, and then we'll kind of finish up with Q&A. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to TC uh, and he'll speak to you about uh, QuickBooks Enterprise. So TC, all yours. All right. All right. Thanks, Simon. Um, so welcome, everyone. Um, I'll start by talking to you about uh, QuickBooks Enterprise and some things that are new and different in QuickBooks Enterprise. I call them dif differentiators, things that make uh, uh, QuickBooks Enterprise a little different than our other versions. All right, so I will jump right in here um, and first talk about list limits. All right, so when, when thinking about right, some of the reasons that people consider QuickBooks Enterprise list limits, uh, comes to the top of the list, not uh, uh, no joke there, but um, you know, our uh, QuickBooks Enterprise handles more customers, more uh, names, more items, right? Um, and we'll see that in some of the other things that we talk about, right? But if you are in a, uh, a pro or premier version, right, you may find that you may reach the list limit. Enterprise can help you there, right? Um, uh, Enterprise will handle up to a million names and up to a million items, right? Some other items, uh, as you can see there, are, are are increased, right? And there's there's more information available on the website there. If you run into a particular list limit, uh, Enterprise may be able to help you out, okay? Uh, next, Enterprise has some uh, special form customization features uh, built into it. Um, allow you to do uh, kind of some neat things. You know, you can search longer transactions, easily find things. You can shade lines uh, be on transactions or shade every other line to make uh, them easier to read. Um, gives you the ability to see cost. You can total columns um, other than you know, the amount, right? Um, um, there's a find and select uh, uh, to make it easier to fill out forms. 
right, and then enhance sorting. So if you need to sort it alphabetically or sort it by quantity, right, those are the type of things an enterprise can help you with, right? And a lot of these things are really about, you know, helping you save time and money. Um, and when it comes to permissions, um, permissions is really about uh, uh, kind of a fraud control, right? So user permissions in QuickBooks Enterprise are uh, very granular. In our Pro and Premier software, I think there's about uh, five general permissions. You can give someone the ability to, let's say, do sales um, or not, right? In QuickBooks Enterprise, um, there's about 115 different permission choices. You can get uh, extremely granular with what you allow someone to do or not do uh, in the program. And they've, uh, they've enhanced user permissions this year. Um, they've now given you the ability to limit what customers um, someone can see, um, made some enhancements with, with, with uh, payroll limitations, right? So all those are uh, updated in 2021 of QuickBooks Enterprise. All right, so there's some inventory enhancements uh, specific to QuickBooks, excuse me, <laughs> specific to QuickBooks Enterprise. Uh, Enterprise has an inventory center where you're going to see all of your inventory items, right? So a great place to, to manage your inventory. Um, there is what we call an enhanced inventory receiving feature that's in just in Enterprise. Um, that will allow you to um, uh, receive items uh, and then later uh, create the bill for those items and, and not change inventory quantities gives you the ability to disallow selling inventory into the negative, um, which can uh, be an issue, right? Um, allows you to disallow uh, selling customers that are past due, right? So if you have a customer that, that owes you money, right? Um, maybe you don't want to, to sell them something else until they pay you. Gives you the ability to do that. Includes an automatic price markup feature to make sure that you're staying profitable. So if, you're, if your cost goes up uh, from your vendor, gives you the ability to, to mark up your sales price. Okay, there's some uh, auto purchase order uh, capabilities. So when you fall below inventory quantities, uh, the system can prompt you to order uh, new inventory and, and, uh, and save you some time in, in automatically creating the purchase orders. And then gives you the ability to do inventory adjustments in multi-user mode. You can, um, if you are manufacturing, you can substitute uh, uh, inventory on the fly, right? And then uh, gives you some shortage report capabilities um, so that, you know, as you're building inventory, you know, uh, you have a good picture of what you're short on and can easily order that inventory. Okay. Enterprise includes some special reporting capabilities that are that are not in our other versions. Uh, gives you the ability to combine reports for multiple company files. So if you have more than one file, you can see um, like a per, excuse me a, a P and L. Uh, for those multiple files, balance sheets for those multiple files, things of that sort. Um, it includes a what we call the QuickBooks Statement Writer, so you can create very professional uh, company statements using that Statement Writer. And then there's a couple of special job costing reports that are just in QuickBooks Enterprise. So the a work in progress report and then a committed cost by job report um, are unique to QuickBooks Enterprise. And then that last thing is uh, we include what we call an advanced reporting module, um, which allows you to create, you know, some custom reports. So if, if there's an, a, if there's not a, excuse me, if there's, if there's a report that you're looking for that isn't one of the defaults, right, you could use that advanced reporting tool to build that report. All right, so next I'm gonna cover um, the different, what we call flavors of uh, QuickBooks Enterprise. Uh, Enterprise comes in these four different uh, flavors or metals, if you will, right? Silver, gold, platinum, and now um, 
it comes in a diamond version. But uh, the silver version of the product is the, the base product, if you will, right? It's a full featured uh, product. Um, and then in our gold product, we add on enhanced payroll to that. So enhanced payroll is a, a, a do-it-yourself payroll option um, where you'll calculate payroll um, and then it gives you the ability to create uh, the payroll forms in 940, 941s, okay? Um, then in platinum, right, we take that gold and we add on a couple of enhancements to it, advanced inventory capability and advanced pricing capability. Um, we'll talk a little more about advanced inventory, but that includes the ability to um, have multiple inventory uh, warehouse locations. You can do uh, uh, mobile inventory. Um, you can do cycle counts. Uh, landed cost is a, is a feature of advanced inventory, right? So um, all enhancements uh, related to inventory there. Um, and then the advanced pricing module is included in Platinum, and that allows you to do some very sophisticated uh, uh, pricing uh, features. Um, you can create quantity discounts. Um, you can, um, of course, do percentages, right? Things like that with the advanced uh, pricing capability. But it allows you to create up to about 10,000 uh, price levels, if you will, and assign those to particular customers and, and things of that sort. All right, and then the last one there is the new diamond feature. And diamond is everything that's in platinum, but Instead of the enhanced payroll uh, uh, module, we include assisted payroll. And um, so assisted payroll is a, is a step up from the enhanced payroll. Um, you'll still do payroll in product, but we take over, we'll fill out the 940s and 941s for you, right? Pay the withholding, and then if we do it wrong, we will pay the penalties there for that, right? It also includes uh, T-Sheets Elite, and the T-Sheets Elite capability uh, uh, gives you the ability to um, do wireless timesheets for employees. Okay. All right, I think I, I, uh, I may have spoke over the cover slide, but let me cover this again with you. All right, so gold, um, base product, All right, everything that's included in silver, but it includes the enhanced payroll, and that enhanced payroll is the free direct deposit, no employee, no per month employee fee, and then no annual fee included in that, okay? And then platinum, again, advanced inventory capabilities are included, so multiple inventory locations, serial number lot number tracking capability, mobile inventory capability, Right, and then the advanced uh, pricing capability that we talked about. All right, and then lastly, diamond again, um, and everything that's in platinum, right? But uh, this includes some, some cost savings above the a la carte uh, price that uh, you would pay for assisted payroll. So um, with diamond, you would save 50% on the per employee fee. Right, and with T sheets, uh, that also includes a 50% savings on the per employee fee. Another interesting feature with Diamond is, you know, our, our enterprise product uh, historically uh, supported up to 30 users. Right, brand new with Diamond is is it now supports up to 40 users. So uh, designed to support the the larger and growing businesses. All right, well, um, that is uh, QuickBooks Enterprise. I'm gonna hand it over to Joe to Thank talk you, to a little about payments. Yep. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us here today. I'd like to introduce myself. Um, my name is Joe, I'm a part of the Intuit Payments team. And one thing I wanna to discuss today is about um, accepting payments in QuickBooks, which is a great feature that uh, QuickBooks offers. It's fully integrated. One merchant account does give you the ability of taking multiple ways of payments. One would be in product by taking payments by phone. It can be a credit card or an ACH payment. 
we also do provide you a free Bluetooth reader to be able to take payments in the field. So if you're doing any deliveries or taking payments outside of your office, um, you're able to use your mobile device and take payments there as well. You can create an invoice and receive payments directly within the office, either by phone or emailing an invoice to a customer where they can actually pay that online with a credit card or check. Also, if you do have a compatible web store, Intuit does also have the ability of connecting to that shopping cart and processing those e-commerce payments as well. Our application process is actually really simple. We take an application by phone. It's about 25 fields of information about the name of the business, contact information and banking. Within minutes, we do have an approval. So within 15 to 20 minutes, you can start taking payments directly in QuickBooks. Um, we do also operate on a simplified pricing plan. Most of the cur <clears throat> current processors today have tiers and buckets and they hide a lot of fees. We offer a true swipe and a true keyed rate. So it doesn't matter what type of credit card you accept, you only see one rate on each tier. And it's fully integrated in QuickBooks. There are no modules or plugins or gateways that you have to incorporate. So very simple to activate the service and start processing right away. Low rates. Um, which we'll get into the next slide. Um, we do have special pricing for V Technologies customers. If you go in product within your software or go direct or to our website, you'll notice the rates are slightly higher. By applying through V Technologies or inquiring for me to reach out to you, you do get special rates. And it's all, once again, integrated in QuickBooks. You can take all forms of payment, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover, also ACH. So here's our rates that we offer for our V Technologies customers. You have three plans to choose from. One is pay as you go, which means you don't have any monthly fees on the service. That would apply for pro and premier customers only. So your swipe rate for any face-to-face -face transaction that is read either through the magnetic strip reader or the EMV chip reader, your swipe rate would be 2.2%. Now, if you pay $16 a month, you can reduce that rate to one and a half. You also do have a transaction fee for credit cards of 25 cents. Invoice or keyed are known as pretty much the same here on the desktop product. That means the card is not present. So a little bit more risk, so the rates are a little bit higher. That would be 3.1% on the pay as you go plan or pay a monthly fee of $16 a month and you get a reduction of about 20 points. I always recommend um, if you're processing more than $8,000 a month in credit cards, you go with the monthly fee plan because that's where it offsets that $16 monthly fee plan. But now if you're on QuickBooks Enterprise, we're giving you that lower rate with no monthly fee. So take advantage of um, processing in QuickBooks, even having it as an alternative or backup solution to what you currently have. So you may have a terminal in the office, a virtual terminal that is non-integrated and I would highly recommend take advantage of um, processing within QuickBooks. ACH across the board will be a flat $3. And how you can take a check would be either by phone and just go into the receipt payment screen and type in that information, which would be the account number, routing number, um, client's contact information. Or you can email that invoice to the customer where they can choose to pay that online. When they receive the attachment, which would be the invoice, they would open it up. They would have a pay now option. You can pre-select prior to sending the invoice to the customer if they can pay that invoice, either with a credit card or check or both. <clears throat> Once again, <clears throat> for QuickBooks uh, Enterprise, you do not have any monthly fees. Swipe rate is one and a half. Your key rate is 2.9. ACH is $3. How this compares to Square, most people are familiar with Square. It's the little mobile reader. Um, they also have a Square um, retail store, which is the e-commerce site, and they also have the invoicing tool. You can see how we compare. We're about one and a quarter percent savings on the swipe. On the keyed, we're saving about five cents on on the invoice, and then five base. I'm sorry, five cents on the invoice, and then we're saving about sixty points, which is six dollar per thousand. Um, processing um, manual key transactions. Indeed, they don't offer an ACH option currently. And of course, PayPal, they've been around for a while. Most people have um, used them in the past. Um, we're also very competitive there. Um, there's 
pretty significant savings, about 1.2% savings on the swipe transactions, invoice five cent savings, and then the key is about 25 points. So really depending on the tiers with um, PayPal will determine what your pricing plan is. And it's also non-integrated. What we're able to do, if you currently process with another vendor today, uh, we can do a, a cost analysis. What we would need is a current statement from your current vendor. Um, let v technologies know that you're um, interested in getting more information. Um, I would reach out to you and uh, complete an application or do a cost analysis for you and show you the savings. I would say nine out of 10 times uh, we're able to save you money. And I'll hand it over to Simon. All right. Well, thanks, Joe. And um, all right. So I'm going to go through a quick uh, presentation regarding our Starship solution with QuickBooks Enterprise, kind of show you how this all sort of ties together. Um, so and right now we're all going through the holiday season. We're all dealing with the pandemic. Um, and really what we like to talk to you about today is really where, you know, how post office can help um, not only, you know, save money, but also possibly get the packages there quicker. Uh, in this time of need. Um, and I'll share some information here as I go along of what we've learned uh, from the different carriers um, and also from the post office as well. So, uh, but really uh, a lot of people don't know about the post office. They simply know about first class mail, priority mail, the standard rate. Uh, but really what a lot of people don't get is the cubic pricing. So I'm gonna kind of spend some time today, kind of show that to you in our demo of where how dimensions uh, can come into play and how it can save you quite a bit of money by just simply entering three numbers into our program. So really cubic pricing, it's helping shippers get their discounted shipping rates on small, heavy packages, typically more applicable in the local zones. Um, and again, you know, we're you know looking at the size of the package and there's some characteristics around that that will determine if it's qualified for cubic pricing. Uh, the nice thing with Starship um, is it's gonna calculate the lower of the two rates, either cubic or your standard priority mail rate. Um, whichever is lower, that's what's gonna show and you're gonna take advantage of that. So there's no manual calculation needed here. But really how it's all determined, a um, couple qualifications. So the package has to le le weigh less than 20 pounds. Um, it's got to be no more than half cubic foot. Uh, and really the cubic foot is determined by taking your length with height and we divide it out by 1728. Um, and then no side exceeds 18 inches in length is another qualification. So again, if it all meets those three, cubic weight, uh, cubic weight can be um, accessible in our Starship platform. Uh, and again, there's five different um, uh, tiers, cubic tiers, as they're calling them, uh, and they go from, you know, cube one or point one, you might see out there in the market, uh, all the way up to cube five uh, is basically, and there's rates assigned to each of those tiers, um, and they also vary by zone where you're shipping to. So one thing that we've learned over the last month or so uh, now leading up to the holiday season is the carriers, um, as again, we're going through the pandemic, we're seeing a lot more e-commerce shippers a lot more volume going out the door um, and everyone's turned to the e-commerce uh, method of getting uh, packages to you know, residential addresses. Um, and really what the main carriers like UPS, FedEx, um, DHL, all the main carriers out there are really concerned. You've probably seen it in the news, um, what they're calling ship again, right? Well, you've all seen the spike around holiday season. Uh, they're really worried about, you know, what you know, kind of capacity issues they're gonna be running into. Uh, where the post office is kind of very confident in their ability to get the packages delivered there by the time uh, the holiday season, uh, you know, comes to do. Um, and basically, they're, they're ready and willing to take on the business, right? So, again, that's, you know, really one thing that we've learned, uh, whereas UPS, FedEx, their volumes we know are going to be up there. But their capacity is can they get there on time uh, for your packages? That's to be seen, to be determined. All right, so again, the industry intel suggests that the national carriers are experiencing greater limitations. Uh, again, their ability to receive those packages from their customers. So again, this is why we wanna make it known that post office is there to help um, you, know, you in those crisis moments where you need to get the packages. This was supplied to us by our partner by Visible Supply Chain, uh, who we work with on the post office side. Um, kind of put together a nice calendar uh, so you can kind of see some cutoff dates, right? As we go into December here, um, where those cutoffs should be. So most people are going to be shipping ground right now, kind of taking the advantage of the low cost services. But as we approach that, you know, uh, Christmas uh, date, December 25th, um, you can see where, you know, ground is going to be cut off. Um, and then these expedited services are going to start taking over from second day air all the way down to overnight services and so forth. So you can see the last cutoff date uh, for post office. Um, if I can show my mouse, 
um, you can see is December 19th, right? So that's the kind of last cutoff date uh, for priority mail services, and then everything's going to turn over to more of an expedited, you know, one-day guaranteed type of service to get there for that Christmas holiday. So Starship. Um, so again, a lot of you might be on this call today or using our platform, and we're very appreciative of that. Uh, some of you might be using our cloud solution today. Again, very appreciative. Um, our cloud solution uh, came out this year in 2020 uh, with QuickBooks. Uh, so for those of you who are new and looking to maybe make the jump to Starship, uh, you're more than willing to take advantage of the 30-day trial that's being offered for Starship. Uh, we also offer the QBE connector. Um, that basically gives you uh, that configuration, um, you know, to make that uh, import export to basically get the information back into QuickBooks, uh, but also connect all your printers and scale, things like that. Um, and then again, the nice thing with our cloud solution is we include all of the parcel carriers, right? So we're including not only post office, but UPS, FedEx, OnTrack, Speedy, all the main uh, carriers that we support today um, will be included on your license as well. Uh, which is a little different than the on-prem version that's offered today, uh, where it's modularized um, for you. Uh, and then the nice thing with QuickBooks Enterprise and being a, a QuickBooks solution provider um, and having uh, the ability to do this call with Joe and, and PC, uh, is we have the ability of bundling not only your Starship licensing, uh, but also providing you those discounts, as Joe mentioned, on payments, but also the discounts on the enterprise licensing um, that you might be looking at purchasing. Uh, so again, if that's of interest, you just need to let me know. We can get the right parties involved and provide those discounts um, uh, that you're uh, afforded. So again, we can talk about that after the, after the webinar as well. All right, so I'm gonna jump into a quick demo, kind of show you what I'm talking about when we talk about cubic pricing here. So you can see uh, my screen. <laughs> okay. So as we log in um, to Starship, you'll log in with your user ID and password, um, and you're gonna come into your home screen here um, of Starship. This is where you can see all your available orders that are ready to be processed. Um, everything we do with QuickBooks um, is in real time. So the minute you process a sales order or sales invoice or sales receipt, that's gonna appear in this window for your shipper to basically process that shipment. Uh, once it's processed, we'll remove it out of this um, screen. Uh, by filtering only looking at the non-processed orders by setting up a filter here for you. Because uh, when we update QuickBooks, we'll update a custom field in QuickBooks to write the word back process. So that way um, you can take advantage of this, uh, only this window seeing your non-processed orders here. So when we bring in your order, we can either you know scan in a sales order, sales uh, invoice uh, into this field here, hit enter, and it would populate everything in for your shipment. Uh, or we can just take advantage of our little truck icon off to the right, Click it once, pulls all the information in from QuickBooks for that specific sales order that I'm working on. So as it pulls in, it's gonna pull in via post office. So we have a couple mappings during implementation uh, that we're gonna do. One of those is your ship via. Uh, if it's marked post office, it's gonna come in that way. Uh, you always have the ability of changing it depending on the rate shot uh, that you may do uh, at the end uh, if you wanna change it back to another carrier. Uh, but again, we're going to pull everything in from your sales order number to uh, so the ship via that's known here as well, uh, all the way down to the packaging content. Um, so in the packaging content, uh, we're going to pull in all the line items uh, available for that sales order. So in this particular sales order, I had two items. Uh, I had my puck and my t-shirt. That's what's going to be put into my one box that I've called my box, right? Uh, in Starship, you do have different databases, one of those being a packaging database where you can store all your uh, predefined dimensions and weights, uh, along with an inventory database where we'll store all of your different inventory items as well. Uh, so you can you know, easily take advantage. And in these inventory items that I'm talking about, we're going to store key information, uh, especially if you're shipping internationally, you know, like Schedule B information, uh, certificate of origin, things like that, um, all the way to you know, LPL if you're doing that as well, storing key information for those types of shipments. So again, uh, we're going to pull all your line items in, pack them in one box, we allow you to add multiple boxes by clicking the icon over here, and you can make drag and drop items into different boxes if you wanted to as well. Um, over on the right, you're gonna see simply your line items here, which basically are gonna display the mappings we've done from QuickBooks um, and all the key information for those specific items out of QuickBooks, such as unit value, unit weights that are assigned um, and mapped in from QuickBooks. We're gonna pull all that information in here as well. And then lastly, we're going to basically show your total charges. Um, basically, we send back to you three separate rates 
one being your published, one being your contracted or negotiated rates, and then something we call applied rates. The applied rates are simply freight rules that are set up behind the scenes by you and our team um, that basically allows you to uh, take advantage of markups. If you want to make a markup here, I have a 30% markup shown here across the board. Uh, we have customers take advantage of all different rules for different customers. Um, so you can set up those as you go um, or at the beginning, however you like to, or you can simply pass back your negotiated rate or maybe offer free shipping and write back zero if you wanted to. So we leave that completely up to you, but that's what the applied rates are um, you know, shown here. Um, and then lastly is basically our shop all. So what I wanted to kind of show here um, before I kind of do the rate shop, um, I want to kind of bring us back to the packaging tab and kind of show you where I'm not entering any dimensions um, for my box, right? And this is where it's really critical and I'm using a 14 pound box here. So I'm going to kind of simply do a quick rate shop um, and show you kind of the one main feature of Starship here um, and showing you all the available carriers that you have at your disposal to choose from. And again, these are whatever license, especially if you're on cloud, you're going to get all of our parcel carriers so you can see your FedEx, UPS, and post office rates combined and make your decision of what you want to ship with. So as this comes in, you're going to see basically where the post office rate is marked here at 42, or I'm sorry, um, we're basically at $49.01. So if you rate shop this, you may say, whoa, I can take advantage of UPS at $29. But hold on one second, because if I change this box, and actually use and say, you know what, I'm going to use Simon's box in this case. And then Simon's box actually has dimensions of eight by eight by six, and I can fit all my items in that box. Now what you're going to see is that post office rate went from $49 down to $12.69. And that's all because of this box is considered a cube three box. And because of those discounts that were you know, uh, afforded by Visible, uh, by the post office, that's what you're going to be paying is $12.69 versus $49. So many people make this mistake and they kind of assume that, hey, post office is going to be $49 and I'm going to ship at UPS, but now I'm just saving you almost $17 on that shipment by just entering three simple numbers uh, into your dimension. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and process the shipment. S3, the blue little box down the right corner, will do the same thing. And then basically we'll get our label for post office in this case, and the right back will all happen immediately uh, back into uh, QuickBooks for you you can take advantage of that as well. So uh, once this populates here, we'll see the right back um, occur. And one thing that we're gonna create for you is not only the label, but we also have the ability of creating a packing list. Uh, so you can kind of detail out what's in each box if you have multiple boxes, um, or you can use a packing list from QuickBooks, completely up to you and turn ours off. This is a smart label that we can generate for you, or we can simply generate these to separate thermal labels um, or print one to a thermal, one to a laser printer, whatever you prefer. So again, there's your post office label that you're going to be printing. And then when I bring up QuickBooks, this is the right back to that sales order. So you have your basically your sales order, here's your items, and we put everything back in QuickBooks Enterprise to a line item, along with your appropriate freight charges for that particular shipment. Um, and then the tracking number, and if it was multiple boxes, we'd write back all your tracking numbers for your uh, individual boxes. Uh, and we can even do something like this where we can write the actual items that you shipped in case if you're a partial shipping something, we can tell you exactly what was shipped in that particular shipment um, for you. So, and then the last thing is we write back the word process into this custom field called ship status. Um, so again, we just remove that from that lookup window. So now your shipper can get onto the next um, shipment itself. And then lastly, um, what I want to show you here is simply our um, dashboard and our e-notify uh, tool where you can send your notifications out to your customer. Um, so in here, um, we have basically um, various charts, heat map, reports, um, more information you're probably going to want, uh, but we give this all to you at your fingertips. So you have everything from total cost, to shipments by carrier, if you're shipping with multiple carriers, um, shipments by service, and we kind of show you kind of like a week over week basis. Um, one of my favorite kind of things here is really this heat map, right? So this is kind of showing me in live format where my shipments are going. Uh, obviously, the red areas are the hot spots where I'm shipping a lot of product to, uh, green, and then as we get lighter in color, is more lighter. Uh, but this is kind of cool for sales marketing people to kind of take advantage of and see where you might not be shipping your products. So take advantage of that as well. So you can see in this case, I'm not shipping most, most into the northwest corner of the country, but maybe I can put some strategy together to get my product into that um, part of the country. Um, so again, you have the ability of setting this up, looking at it however you like. 
We do also have reports in here that you can run from anything from address correction to uh, carrier reports uh, to looking at applied versus contracted rates, maybe making a side-by-side -side comparison, make sure you're collecting enough money, things like that are all available in here as well for you. And then lastly, here is just our notification templates, right? So here, um, just an example to kind of show you. Um, oops, this one didn't pop up, but we're just going to use it anyway. Um, so here, uh, we'll kind of use this as our example here. But um, so we have uh, one that I just designed where we can put our logos here. Uh, we can just thank the customer for their order. Um, and then basically, I give them a hyperlink to that order. So in this case, if I were to click this once, the customer is going to go right out to the UPS website in this case and see that particular order. And then um, I can insert tables here where I can put exactly what I ship to them in case of anything was back ordered. Um, I can tell them that exactly and then also give them a coupon code for any sort of, you know, website or e-commerce order um, for future sales. Well, um, I can attach documents like, you know, uh, labels, packing lists, BOL documents, uh, international documents. I can attach all those to that email that go out as well. So that way your customer is informed of what's coming to them uh, on that particular day. So. Um, so that's really it that I have to share this afternoon. Great. I think we are um, a little early, um, but I don't think that's a bad thing. And um, TC, Joe, appreciate you taking some time to um, give us some insight on the Intuit side. And hopefully everybody found it um, informative. Thanks, everybody. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks for having us. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.